Hi everybody. In this video, we're going to show that if you have a group and a subgroup called H, then any conjugate of H, so remember conjugate means you take an element of the group and call it G, and you write down G, H, G inverse. So any conjugate of H is supposed to be a subgroup of G. So to show that it's a subgroup, we have three things we have to check. So we have to check one, that the identity is still in the conjugate subgroup. Two, that GHG inverse is closed under products. And three, that GHG inverse is closed under inverses or under inversion. Okay, so first one is very straightforward because we know that E is an element of H because it's a subgroup of G. And so, well, E could be written as G, E, G inverse. Right? The E goes away, and then you just have G times G inverse. And this is an element of G, H, G inverse. So E is an element of G, H, G inverse. All right, so now we show that it's closed under products. So I need to take two different elements, well, not necessarily different, but two elements of G, H, G inverse. So let me let, say, little h and little k be elements of h. And that'll give me two elements of g, h, g inverse. So g, little h, g inverse, and g, little k, g inverse. Now when I multiply these together, I can reassociate. And I'll get g, h, and now I'll associate the g inverse and the g in the middle together and they're going to turn into an E, which will then disappear. And so I get G, H, K in the middle, G inverse. Now H and K came from big H, and H is a subgroup, so it's closed under products. So this is also an element of H, and so our element is an element of G, big H, G inverse. And so we know that the conjugate is closed under products. All right, finally we show it's closed under inversion. So, well, we'll keep the same h, little h, from up above. And I want to show that if I take GHG inverse and I invert it, that it's still in GHG inverse. But if you invert a product, then you're going to reverse the order of the elements and then invert them. So, okay, the first one then will be G inverse inverse, which is just G. Then the h inverted and then the G inverted. But H was a subgroup, so it's closed under inversion. So H inverse is also an H, and so this is in G, H, G inverse. And so from all three of these, we conclude that G, H, G inverse is a subgroup of G.